morning guys it's almost 8 in the morning on a Sunday and uh, guys I like to do my grocery shopping first thing in the morning try to beat the crowd but uh, let's get on in much for taking time come over and visit with me over on Fritz's cooking again I'm Fritz and I reckon it's time for another Sunday cook guys uh, today we're actually gonna switch switch gears a little bit I'm wanting to try something else uh, during the week um, I'm gonna shoot like a little series it's not gonna be like uh, like every Wednesday but that's when I'm gonna try to post them on Wednesday and basically what it's gonna be is for the uh, for the working woman and the working man to actually prepare something you know nutritious and delicious and and let's say 45 minutes to an hour and basically what I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm going to introduce you to a new, uh, a new gadget I got. Got it off the Home Shopping Network. It's the Elite Pressure Cooker. And uh, guys, this thing is just phenomenal. And uh, basically, we're going to uh, prepare some ribs, some baby back ribs today. Um, I went ahead and I got a couple of things. I've got some macaroni salad and I got some potato salad and uh, we'll have some Hawaiian rolls and we might even uh, make up some beans as well. But uh, I'm just wanting to show you uh, that uh, we don't always, I know there's times that we're going to, uh, you know, be eating like you know, hamburgers on the run or, or, you know, a quick ham sandwich or something when you get home because you don't feel like cooking. With this thing, guys, I'm here to tell you, you can eat like a, a Sunday style meal during the week. And it's the, the, the hardest part of it is just your prep work. And uh, basically with the ribs, there's really no prep work at all, man. I'm going to be slicing them in two, slipping them down in there, and uh, we'll actually be uh, util utilizing some apple juice to, like, permeate it, you know, and uh, pressurize it and, you know, get it all up in there. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to do that. It shouldn't take me more than 50 minutes to cook them in the pressure cooker. And then what we'll actually do is we'll take them and we're going to put them in the oven under broil and we're going to broil them off with some barbecue sauce, guys. And this will be less than an hour, man. I'm here to tell you, your family's going to love you for it. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay. All right, guys, we're ready to get started. We've got our baby back ribs here. I've got my apple juice. I'm going to use a cup and a half of apple juice, but I love this stuff. Uh, my good buddy John Holler turned me on to it. It's Famous Dave's Rib Rub. I use it on everything. Great on pork chops. This stuff is magnificent, guys. We actually have this barbecue joint right down the street from me, but uh, let's go ahead and get some on here. And I've got uh, my ribs sitting on wax paper so I don't get uh, get my, my cat kitchen countertop contaminated. So we'll just press that in real good. And... Uh, Guys, we're ready to get started. All right, y'all. Started with our elite pressure cooker, cooking our baby back ribs, guys. This thing is a piece of cake. We're gonna unlock the lid. It's got a little dude where you can set it down in right there. And basically what we're gonna do is I've actually put in a rack in here. What I'm actually going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pour my uh, apple juice on in. And I'm going to go ahead and set my ribs in there. How easy is that, guys? Is that not a piece of cake? Check it out. Okay, guys, we're ready to get started with our brand new electric uh, eight-quart elite pressure cooker here, guys. And this thing is a piece of cake. This ain't like grandma's. Um, I'm here to tell you, it's a piece of cake. Uh, basically, we have our uh, uh, baby back ribs on in our pot here. We season them up real well with the Famous Dave's Rub, and I poured in approximately a cup and a half of ap apple juice down in it. Uh, guys, now we're ready to get started. I'm just going to simply take our lid here. And with one hand, guys, boom, we're locked in the locked position. All right, guys, one of the biggest deals on this thing is you want to ensure when you're getting ready to pressure cook that you actually move this pressure valve over to airtight. Bam. That's all there is to it. We're done. 
All right, guys, other than setting the time. All right, guys, we have a a massive keypad on this thing. We It does uh, fish, uh, meat and chicken, desserts. Um, you've got a keep warm function on it, um, beans. You've actually got a browning function as well. Um, of course, it does stew and soups, and it does rice as well. And it's actually got a delayed timer on it too. But uh, on, I'm gonna actually use the meat and chicken button on here, and I know that it defaults to 12. Well, as soon as it defaults to 12, I'm gonna come straight over here to uh, pressure cook time, and I'm gonna run it up to uh, 50 minutes. And that's what we're gonna cook these at, and then we're gonna finish them off in the oven. I'm here to tell you guys, in an hour or less, we're gonna be eating ribs. All right, guys, let's get started here. Let's go ahead and hit the meat function. All right, you see that P there? That means it's, under, it's getting ready to start pressurizing. But what we're gonna do is run this thing up to 50 minutes real quick. And it goes in one minute increments. Okay, now we're pressurizing. See that P flashing? Now we should see uh, double zeros. All right. Once those double zeros stop, that means we're under pressure, and then we'll start our countdown. All right, guys, I'll try to catch that for you, but it's, it's kind of quick. All right, guys, All right, guys I tried to catch it for you. As you can see, we don't have the flashing zeros anymore. It's under pressure now. Um, we're at 50 minutes and counting. Now we're at 49, and uh, in 49 minutes, guys, <laughs> we're gonna have us something good. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. All right, guys, we're done. Uh, you heard the little beep, and what I think is really cool about this now, it's gone directly to the warming function. So basically, we're good to go if you're off doing something out in the yard work, and it would stay warm for you. But uh, anyway, guys, I was going to show you something else too. Like I said, this ain't uh, this ain't Grandma's old pressure cooker, guys. What I'm going to do is release it from airtight to exhaust. Okay, this thing will depressurize itself, but I believe it takes like 15 to 20 minutes to do that. And uh, we're trying to prepare a meal in under an hour. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release the thing. Check it out, guys. Now I definitely would not do this on Grandma. Don't y'all try this at home. But I'm here to tell you, I'm not getting burnt here. Look at that. Now, if you held your hand directly down on it, it would probably burn you. But look at that, guys. Man, oh man, oh man. Ain't that something? All right, guys, let me uh, get this thing depressurized, and we're going to get them over to the stove real quick and uh, get them under the broiler with some good old bars. All right, guys, we're done venting. I'm going to turn the uh, keep warm function off. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pop the top off. Set this down in our holder. And look at that, guys. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, y'all, let me get them over right, to the stove. All right, guys, looky there, looky there. Those are our famous Dave rib rub with uh, infused with uh, some apple juice, man. And they're just, the, the bones are just falling out of it. So it's not gonna really take that long. I assumed maybe 10 minutes, but I'm just gonna actually just brown them a little bit. But we've got some of our famous Dave's barbecue, sweet and zesty. Grill Master Secret Blend. All right, guys, let's pop some of this on here real quick. This is gonna be dynamite. Oh yeah, I might baste them a couple of times with this. This is gonna be beyond next level yum, guys. It smells freaking wonderful up in here. Guys, I just wanted to say thank you so very much as well. Um, I've had a bunch of people from my HVAC side of things come over from my HVAC channel, and they were telling me how in inspired I've, I've got them and how they're actually going to start, you know, they're starting to cook now. Uh, there's nothing to be scared of. You know, it's trial and error. If you, if you mess something up, guys, you can always fix it, you know. But uh, anyway, guys, let's get these puppies on up in the All oven. Right, guys, let's get these puppies up in the oven. Guys, I used... Uh, one of those aluminum pans, and I use one of my grill liners. Uh, this way too, man, you know, uh, working man, working woman, they don't like doing a bunch of dishes at night. Heck, you can throw this whole thing away. This cost me like 50 cents. All right, guys, I've got my broiler on, and we're ready to rock. Get a peek at that, guys. Look at that. That's some ribbage. All right, right guys, there, we got uh, our barbecue ribs over to the table here, guys, and I, I had them under the broiler for approximately five minutes. It didn't take that long at all. Guys, we are at the table 
with barbecued pork ribs in less than an hour. And we've got some sides here. I believe I paid two bucks for the macaroni salad, two dollars for the uh, the potato salad, a um, dollar for the uh, pork and beans, and right at thirteen dollars for the ribs, guys. So we're going to be eating on this a couple of days. Oh my and, goodness! Uh, oh my goodness! Take a peek at that, y'all. Mmm. -mm. Does that not scream Sunday dinner? Ha <laughs> ha! All right, guys, let me get right, out of this. I'm going to have to get in here and get messy, but. Uh, Anyways, it, everything's just falling off the bone good. Look at this, guys. Mm mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Cooked to perfection. I can actually taste that apple in there. Mm. Mm. I'm here to tell you. Oh my God. That is insane. All right, guys. Let me check out some of our store bought tater salad here. It ain't nothing like mama's, I can tell you that. Mmm. It's good, though. Now I got sour cream cheddar macaroni salad. Try, try a little peek of that. Hmm. Not bad. King Hawaiian roll. Oh yeah. Do a little bit of the beans. Mmm. How -mm. is it, Mom? Oh, delicious. It is, ain't it? <laughs> it really is. Mmm. I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna tear these up. Mm, they're tender. Mmm, I'm making a mess. Mmm. Oh my god, guys. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm definitely gonna, as you can tell, I'm gonna tear these up. Um might have a few leftovers tomorrow, but I kind of doubt it. But uh, anyway, guys, I can't thank you all enough for stopping by and visiting with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. And this is just a precursor to uh, working Wednesdays. And basically over there, we're going to try and show you all some easy, nutritious, and delicious meals that you can make in under an hour. And I'm hoping you all come back and visit with me. I surely do. And, of course, I'm always going to do my Sunday cooks, guys. So... But anyway, y'all, let me get after this, and we'll talk at you real soon. Thank you so very, very much for watching my videos, and thank you for the for the fellowship and the friendship and and all, guys. I, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. All right, y'all. We'll talk to y'all soon. Take care. Bye.